Next up on copycat.com, pasta carbonara. Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pasta carbonara sauce. This is a great dish to make when you don't have a lot in the kitchen. You can make a dinner in minutes, quicker than what it's going to take you to run out and go grab something through the drive through We're going to start out with about a quarter pound of bacon. I've just used regular bacon. Now, honestly, you could use um, a slab of bacon and cut it into nice dices, but you know what? I just wanted to show you how to make this out of what you already have. So we're gonna take this and we are going to put it into our pan and we're just gonna cook it up until it's nice and browned. So I'm gonna start this in the pan and I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be back in just a moment. So our bacon is finished cooking. We're gonna go ahead and add in our cooked pasta. I have some linguine here. I'm just gonna stir this through. I'm gonna add some of the pasta water to this. I'm gonna turn the heat off for a few moments. So by adding the pasta water back to this, you get all the nice flavors from the bottom of the pan. And it's gonna make the pasta very, very creamy. So now we have a couple of eggs. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese inside. I'm gonna whisk this together. I'm gonna pour this over the cooked pasta and we're gonna stir it in. We need to do this fairly quickly so we don't have scrambled eggs. So again, we're just gonna stir this in You can see the pasta gets wonderful and creamy. I'm gonna turn back the heat back on just a little bit to make sure the eggs cooked all the way through. I'm gonna add lots of fresh black cracked pepper. And some more cheese. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat. You can see we have a wonderful dish right here. Okay, so before I give this a try, be sure to subscribe to this channel here. We release videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So we have all sorts of videos, so be sure to check some of them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. This is it, I just love this dish. It's so easy to make. Um, you know what, you can make it with just a few simple ingredients. All right. Mmm. Very nice. You get the good flavors of the cheese that I use, lots of bits of pepper, and of course the bacon. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching.